In this video, let's talk about the scheduling algorithms which decide which process is going to be executed next by the CPU and there are many types of CPU scheduling algorithms. The first one is the FCFS or the first come first serve and it is based completely on arrival time. Whichever process arrives first, it is fully executed. Next we have the non preemptive shortest job first and it is based on the burst time or the amount of time a process takes to complete and preempt means to temporarily stop a process before it has completed execution and here non preemptive means that the shortest job which had come the first will be fully executed and only after that the next job will be looked upon. We also have the preemptive shortest job first in which we can stop the current job if a shorter job appears into our queue. There is also the priority scheduling based upon the priority of the processes or the round robin scheduling in which all processes are kept executing partially like we execute all the process line by line for 2 nanoseconds and then it goes like in a circle. Now for some scheduling terminology. A process is an instance of computer program that is being executed. A process is data organizational concept. Resources like example memory for holding state, allowed address space etc are allocated for a process. Some operating system use the word task for the process that is running. Thread of execution is the smallest sequence of program instructions that can be managed independently by a program scheduler and multiple threads can exist within a process executing concurrently sharing resources. Process burst time is the time required to complete the execution of a process. Waiting time is the time a process waits after arrival until it starts getting executed. Turnaround time is waiting time plus burst time and a low turnaround time is usually desirable and it is the total time taken between the submission of a process and the return of complete output to the user. We also have time comp term and it is the amount of time given to each process while executing in a round robin scheduling algorithm. Request queue or ready queue is a queue of processes which tell the CPU which one has to be executed next. Context switching time is the time required to start executing another process and to save the current state of the process and hence you may get this context switching times come important in preemptive shortage of first type of uh, scheduling algorithm. Now, there is a blue screen of death and it is the screen displayed on a Windows PC when a fatal system error occurs and the OS can no longer operate safely. But there is also a NAC screen which is a screen that routinely appears and shows an advertisement in a share program and asks the user to register and pay for the software.